Cook You Measure. I'm your host, Jen Mueller, our guest measurer today, a longtime friend, a former Seahawk, and a first timer, maybe in the kitchen. I, I don't really know, Lofa Tatupu. What do we got here? Not in the kitchen. I mean, do eggs and egos count as cooking? They could. We do have eggs today as part of our meal. Okay, then I'm I'm not well seasoned, but you know, so it's technically not my first rodeo. Well, your wife Close. did send me a message this morning. I, no joke, got a, a note from his lovely wife, Rachel, who said, good luck, loaf is not great in the kitchen. She said what? <laughs> that was that her exact words? I can call up the message, but- Bring said, the message up. She also told me not to wear a white shirt. Kay. She said, I'll get it ruined. Kay. I said, well, with that attitude. <laughs> Good luck today with Lofa, because he can't cook for shit. She's not wrong. <laughs> She's, I, I so, married her because she tells me the truth. Okay, so what should my level of concern be asking you to cook something? I am very detail oriented. Okay. So like, when you say measure, like, see my hands are already shaking. It could be because, <laughs> could be because I haven't eaten yet, because I'm saving it for the meal, but. Yeah, I just, I need to know how, Okay. you know, I don't even know what these things are. We're gonna go over that, <laughs> they're measuring the spoons. Yeah, well, we'll get that covered. Would a little bit of wine help? Yeah, is that the cue? Yeah, huh? so um, this is what we've got. Hey guys, I would not normally pair, by the way, our meal today is turkey chorizo, mm -hmm. and we're gonna make that into a breakfast bowl. So you could have this for breakfast, for brunch, for dinner, because I do like a good um, breakfast for dinner. I would not usually pair a white wine with a chorizo, but if I'm thinking about brunch, I'm also not gonna drink a red wine with brunch. So here's what I went with. I went with a bottle called Wonderlust from Ladderus Winery. The winemaker, uh, super fun, used to be the winemaker at JM Cellars. Tyler's awesome. Um, so I popped in, I got a couple of bottles and tasted a few and this is what I picked. So it is a mix of Riesling and Sav Blanc. Okay. So let's see what we got. Yeah. What's the pour on this one? What's the measure? You tell me. It's not one of those, is it? No. <laughs> if I measured wine by a teaspoon, first of all, I wouldn't have had any fun in my life. Second of all, we might actually be able to, to, to determine what is a splooce or a splash. I've got the touch of a steel worker, so <laughs> I hope, is that, is it's that good? It's perfect, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I tried to count it out in my head, but. Wait, what were you counting in your head? A couple seconds. We're not a bartender pouring a shot. I've done that before. All right, here we go. Okay, here Are we go. Swirl around. We'll, we'll, we'll cheers. So the pros I'm do. Give it a little swirl. I'm okay. gonna open it okay. up a little bit. I give it a little tap. Yeah. Good luck. There you go. Yeah. Salute. Here we go. Smooth. I like it's it. It's got a little tart. It's got a little smooth. Well, it. everybody's got different taste buds. I know. I, I taste it smooth. It is, it's very smooth, but on the end of it, because of that Sav Blanc, I've got like a little green apple. That's just me, like a little green apple. I, okay. We don't have to get into that. Yeah. That's another episode <laughs> for another day. What we actually do need to do is start cooking because I have already started a pound of ground turkey in the skillet over here. I need two teaspoons of paprika. I feel like this is also like a hide and seek sort of thing that's happening right now. Yep, so that one is this exactly one? two teaspoons. Paprika? Paprika. What is paprika? Just, just a herb. A spice. Spice. Don't, don't put me on the spot. I'm sorry. It's a spice out of my spice this, drawer? I, I need like what a- What is paprika? I need like a funnel for this thing. Well, you could. Was well, this just Scoop in case it, it spills? In. No, no, no. We're gonna dump it in there. You could dump it in here or here. There you go. We'll dump it in. Yes, right. both, I'm, both actually, I both told you, and. This is gonna be a struggle. Lofa, I know you as a competitor. When did you give up on cooking? Why did you give up on cooking? Uh, smarter. Why did the competitive spirit not carry over? Because, you know, smarter, not harder, is really how I like to operate. You know that, Jen. <laughs> I do know that. Is that even balanced? I think that looks That's, like a teaspoon. Yep. See how it's, but uh, so I let. Here, dump it in there. We'll make a oh, nice oh, mixture in here. Yeah, it's perfect. Wow. 
See, I was worried about spelling. Nope, don't even worry about it. Okay. Don't even worry about it. Next one up is two teaspoons of chili powder. Chili powder, oh. there it is. Okay, so you said smarter, not harder. Bottle what does that this mean up in the for kitchen? freshness. Uh, it means let someone else cook <laughs> and you eat. Okay, I already, I already forgot. What is? Two teaspoons. Same thing? Yep. All right. Come on. I could have made this a little easier for you, but I'm gonna let you keep going. You could have put two in, two in this thing? No, 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 not yet. You're oh, good. Right. Well, that's. Oh, oh. That yeah, way sorry. we have a nice pretty mixture. I'm looking for the nice pretty mixture. Okay. Next up is a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Here, take the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, come on. Now, little just linebackers scoop it. are smart. Smarter, not harder. Are they? I wasn't gonna. Yes. Well, this one is. Is it? I'm not so sure. Not Unbelievable. Sure Next ingredient. Next ingredient, um, quarter teaspoon oregano. I feel like I need glasses. Is this thing? No, yeah. I can read that. I'm sorry. Yeah, nope, that was the quarter, quarter teaspoon's generally the smallest one you are gonna find in a measuring spoon set. All right, a little scoop of that. Sha. I'm gonna do <laughs> quarter <laughs> teaspoon cumin. Well, you've been using a lot of this. We're gonna need a restock. We, we do need a restock. That's because I make a lot of Tex-Mex and cumin seasons Tex-Mex. I'm gonna have you do one teaspoon of salt. So what I would do is take the half teaspoon. Do it twice? It twice? No way. I know. Oh my. You are oh. the smart middle linebacker. I yeah, know. There's one. And there is two. Oh, sorry, I was sloppy. Okay. Now, there's ground cloves on the end. You can measure it out or you can just give it a little shake. Uh, what you don't really want to do with cloves is overdo it because you will be able to tell, yeah. like, immediately. Don't so worry. I got this. I got this, Jim. He's so confident in the kitchen all of a sudden. I don't know how this happened. Look at that. That's Look half. Look at that. That is half. Can we get? Well played. Can we get? You see that? <laughs> Look at that. Won't overdo it. Cha. Perfect. Okay, we've got the seasoning. Now take the garlic paste that's over there. I could have you chop up garlic. As anybody who has watched the show at any point in time knows, I can chop garlic, just don't like to. It makes my hands smell and it makes a mess. So I'm gonna have you take this and if you would like to measure something, just take like the two teaspoons. Yeah. And I'm gonna have you put it straight into our turkey that is browning. Two of these? Just one. Oh. Because it's two teaspoons, it's already in there. Yeah. Yeah. Get. Got it? I don't know. Do we have Close a... enough? Do you need a little spatula? Yeah, yeah. There's got to be a drill for this. There's. <laughs> Here, try that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, that was there a good go. call on that. Right? One. Perfect. Was and that then... a first time? Yeah. And then um, take the take the red wine vinegar. Yes. And we're gonna do three tablespoons, so the tables, that's a two tablespoon on the end, yep. So we're doing three of these. Well, I only need three tablespoons to do one and a half. I mean, I knew that. I, you knew that, I knew that you knew that. Where's it going? That, that was is coming going right here, here. There? Okay. Right here. And this is what's gonna give it, um, it might seem weird to put the vinegar in there, but with chorizo, it gives it, oh. Should I pop nice the top time. on this thing? Yes, let's All right. do that. You know, I was thinking it, but I was. I was gonna see how much patience you have. I have zero patience. <laughs> All right. I have zero. Hey, points. we're learning. All right, that's one. Yep. And then the next one, half of that? Yep. Like I said, you got to be on me because I'll mess up and go heavy on the pour. It's okay. You know, when you are cooking with spices and things like that, if you go a little bit heavy, it doesn't mess up the recipe. I would be careful with the stronger ones like the cayenne and the cloves, but for the most part, everything else is easy. So that's it. You're going to dump that into here. We're going to let this continue browning, and that is going to be the end of making chorizo. Do I have to like mix it up? Nope. I'm going to do it in here, oh. or I'm going to let you stir. OK. Well, I just want you know, get an even little like spread, mm -hmm. right? That way, make your job easier. I do like that, yep. More consistency? Yes, because then I'm not trying to get clumps out of it. I love it. I've um, never done this before. I Just saying. By the way, we're just letting this yeah, like, how's it come doing? together. It's awesome. Is there any lesson I can learn? 
Um, yes, when you mix these spices in here, yes. the meat is actually cooked at this point, right? We could have added the spices a little bit earlier. We were talking a little bit but I want the spices to meld together. There is absolutely nothing wrong with plating this right now as it is. But if you allow the spices to cook together and simmer a little bit, you will get a greater depth of spice. I think you're doing pretty well on your, your first, uh, first rodeo yeah. in the kitchen. First real meal. First real meal that you've cooked. That's, that cannot be true. I'm not. What did you try before that just led you to this point where you have decided to turn everything over to everybody else. My total, you know, lack of patience for like a perfect meal. Does that make sense? It does, but why does it have to be perfect? I mean, sometimes the perfect meal is peanut butter and jelly and it's... Absolutely, but it, I don't know, I put that kind of pressure on me, you know, like if someone else is gonna enjoy this, it better be damn good. If I'm gonna eat it, I'll, I'll eat whatever. I don't know, it's just the way I am. You played for Pete Carroll at USC. Mm -hmm. First of all, can Pete throw a football farther than you can? Absolutely not. He's got a great arm. But Are you sure? Let's get serious. I could throw, I think the farthest I've thrown the NFL football is like 65, 67. Recently? Because Pete does it every day. It's like, uh, no, it was when I was coaching. It was when I was even worse shaped than I am now. So it's probably, I'm going for 70 yards these days. Was Pete, Pete, at USC, like the Pete that I know now, the Pete that we all see. Yeah. Is he the same? It's crazy, he might have more energy now. Like, even though it's 20 years later, tons of wins later, it's, uh, I don't know, he's an anomaly. I don't know how he does it. I think the more time I spend in the league and the more time I spend around him, I appreciate him more, right? Like, also we're all getting older. <laughs> Did you appreciate the style of coach that he was back then at SC? Uh, I appreciate the competition aspect and the realness of we're going to win. You know, there's nothing more powerful than that feeling. And the Seahawks fans here have like seen it in action with the 12 to 22, 23 run is the expectation, the standard of, hey, we're going to win. And that feeling when you're actually on that team or you're coaching that team, it's so contagious. It's like, OK. We gave everything, exhausted all of our abilities to focus on winning. And when you walk out there, it's just like, this is what we do. It's incredible. Here we go. Are we eating? Not quite yet. But what we have done is made sure that the flavors have melded together enough. So I'm going to cut the heat on this one. I've also got potatoes roasting in the oven because we're going to make the bowl in just a second. But right now we are going to play Virtual Master Chef. Virtual Master Chef. I can't wait to see how this goes. You're not going to give me any rules? Here's the only rules. I'm going to give you five ingredients. I want to know what you would do with these five ingredients. Like make sure they're on the same plate together. OK. OK, you ready? Pork chops, peaches, Burrata cheese, salad greens, French bread. Eat them? I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean what do I do with them? What would you Pork do chops, with them? Peaches. Like, I've got ideas on what you would do with them. Like, Burrata what, and bread? Bread, salad greens, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea. Like, chop. You just put them all on the same You make plate. a salad? You could make a salad. Sure. What's the right answer? I want to be There right. is no right answer. You could do lots of different things with it. You could um, caramelize the peaches, put them on top of the pork chop, and then put some burrata on little bread toast and serve it with a salad. You could make this oh. a crazy panini sandwich. See, look where my you perspective could... went. I went straight to like, it's all going to be on the plate. Well, I mean, together. We're, no, we're, we're easing you into this chef thing. That's okay. what we're doing. Okay. We're expanding your, your horizons okay. on that. I one. see the game. Give me the next ingredients. Oh my gosh. Oh, was that it? That was it. So oh. let me see what I can come up with off the top. You ready? I lost. Mm. Here we go. No, <laughs> you did not. Oh boy. This is going to be a good one. Garbanzo beans. What? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you said garbanzo beans, shrimp, tomatoes, couscous. <laughs> I went for uh, feta cheese. Uh, a soup. 
Yeah, you can do that. Just mash up those tomatoes and throw everything else in there. And yeah. Voila. All right. Bam. Look with, at with, that. Thinking with, on your feet. Is the couscous um, like a, a grain or something? Yes. Or like, yeah. Uh, yeah. You can. <laughs> All right. There you go. Okay, you have passed Virtual Master Chef. Up next, we are gonna plate the dish. I Cook, You Measure is brought to you by Ascend Hospitality Group. Committed to elevating the communities it serves, AHG invests wholly in both its team members and its guests to take service to the next level. Visit ascendhg.com for more. Let's recap though where we were in the conversation. As Lofa was just saying, the timing of things could be really tricky unless we had what we would call a recipe. By the way, ours is another favorite from Skinny Taste. I failed to mention that one earlier. Ooh. Lofa, you didn't realize that there are entire cookbooks that have recipes in them for the precision that you like to bring to things. But it's the timing. It tells you exactly what to, it tells you how long to cook things for. I'm gonna make my own cookbook and it's gonna be like, <laughs> yo, eggs, now. Meat, in five minutes. Does that do that? <laughs> I can't even, I'm picturing this. Like, you know whose cookbook doesn't even do that? Snoop's cookbook. I have that cookbook. Snoop's got it? Snoop's got a cookbook? Snoop Dogg. Would is you it, like to is see Is it my focused on greens? <laughs> that would be your favorite, wouldn't it's it? It's after my heart. Oh, look at my dog, Uncle Snoop. How many times did you run into him at SC? He came to SC all the time. I am, I would really like to meet him because of his cooking. That's what I would like to have him on the show. Can you please call Snoop and say, I think you really should be on the show. I'll try to get him up here. You know what, Pete could probably get him up here. Pete, I'd like Snoop, please. I don't want to take Martha's place, but this I'd is like incredible. a little guest appearance. I know, isn't it? And I've made things out of this cookbook. It's good. The OG breakfast? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> I want to try that one. Also, he's got the gin and juice recipe in there, which is actually, guess what? Gin and juice. Amazing. It's amazing. Yes, yeah, simple yet effective. It is. There you go. I aspire to be Snoop. We all do. Okay. And Martha, right? And Martha. I mean, if Martha can get on the cover of the swimsuit issue, I think I need to readjust my life goals. We got this. We got this. We totally have this. Meanwhile, the thing I forgot we were going to do, I don't know how I could forget. This is my favorite part. Let's make a couple of eggs. We have decided we like ours over medium. I like a little yolk. Yes. Okay. Oh, no. It's all right. You got this. I believe it. Look at that. Look at what happens when you try to cook on TV. Should I adjust Almost, that camera? It's. It's almost. That was insane. Look at you. One more. Oh, one more. As long as I don't break the yolks, I'm good. But now, pressure's on. Because now you got to time this bad boy up, like, fast. You certainly don't have to make a bowl with this. Also, you could do, like, leftover potatoes from the night before if you wanted to do brown rice, if you wanted to do, like, a breakfast fried rice. There's a whole bunch of things that you could do. Oh, look at that. Did you, see that. did you see that extra flare that I added? It's a flip. It was a flip. Snoop, you are now going to be the pot holder over there. Huh. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Snoop. I love you. I love pot too. So, so I do 37 Farms. Shameless plug. That is my, you know, uh, cannabis company, me and Matt McCoy, my brother, NFL brother. And, uh, yeah, and so, you know, and then I got Zone In CBD, yep. which is hemp, the hemp line. And I uh, use it frequently, it, love yeah. it. And yep. it's just, it puts you present moment, you know? And I think the, the scary thing where everybody's like, oh, I can't deal with it. And you know, I was like, well, no, it makes you deal with it. Yeah. You have to confront your fears to go anywhere, to grow. And that's what it's allowed me to do. I love it. I do use it, shameless plug for Zone In. It's awesome. I've also given it as gifts. Amazing. Thanks, Jen. Let's make this really, really obvious. Don't touch it yet. I won't. Let's see if I got it. One more. One more. Look at that. Okay, but we're not quite done yet. Okay, now I think we're ready to plate. 
I could eat this as is, but would yeah. you like avocado? Would you like jalapeno? I would do this, here. Okay. I'll do this on mine. Right. Go ahead, you can scoop yourself some avocado, because it looks so pretty when you it do does. it that way. Avocado? Yeah. I already sliced a little bit. Well, that, here, you can do have whatever. the sliced one. You know? Because I, I see my wife do this, so I know from, you did a good job. from my baby. Look at that. I'll figure out how to attack this animal. I think that's the right way to go about it. Oh, I lost half that thing. <laughs> hey, it's half the battle. Boom. Look at that. It's not as pretty, but it got the job done. It's not as pretty. But look, if you put those right there, they're oh. still so pretty. Okay. We ready? I think so. How are we going in? Well, I'm gonna- uh, You crush it up? I'm gonna get the yolk yes. in there a little bit. Ash that thing up. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, jeez. Nope, that was me. I oh, think it was that me. was me. I'm pretty sure it was me. <laughs> well, your white shirt is still white, so. Is it? Ha, babe. <laughs> I hope you're watching. All okay. right, we doing we this? Yep. Let's get it. Mmm. I, was waiting, I thought we were doing this together. <laughs> Isn't that what like cooking shows do? Well, yeah. I mean, I wasn't gonna. I was gonna have a more demure. Okay. You know, kind of. Let's a, do that again. You okay. Ready? ready? Here, Here we, we go. go. Here we go. Mm. 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 Oh, I did get more chorizo on that one. Mm -hmm. That one's delicious. Amazing. Okay. Here's a big question. Um, does this mean you are gonna make this at home? and give your lovely wife a morning off of making breakfast. I will make this for you, baby. Exactly. Make sure he follows the recipe. I said it, I'll do it. Make sure yeah. he follows what the recipe. What was it? Skinny, healthy recipes, what was it? Skinny taste. I was close. It was close. Mm-hmm. I love it. I'm gonna when you it. make double the batch, you can freeze it and then just pull it out. Um, like a morning that you know that you should because you're in trouble or you like to. Make sure that you're not in trouble. Why would I be in trouble? I don't know. I'm just saying, in case you needed something, um, you know, and could be helpful. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll let Lofa enjoy his breakfast bowl. It is so fun to connect with friends over food. I am so glad that he spent time with me and that you're spending time with me. And as you know, not everybody has the ability to use food to connect with others. In fact, some don't have enough food at all, which is why for every episode of I Cook You Measure, a donation is being made to end food insecurity in our community. So thanks to Lofa. Thanks to you for watching. We'll see you next time. You're a rock star. That was so good. I'm gonna eat this. You did make that. How are we doing over there? It's right here. Such a great sous chef. Such a great shoe chef. Shoe chef? You say that that's, ten times fast. That's, that's gonna be cut out of there. Leave it. Um, Jerry, let's go to a commercial break. How's that? <laughs> I need a... Go to commercial, Jerry. Hi. Jerry, TV magic happens here. I Cook You Measure is presented by Safeway, who welcomes everyone at the table through the Nourishing Neighbors program. You can donate in stores or get involved with the Back to Action campaign. Our food banks need volunteers to ensure no one in Washington goes hungry. Make a difference in the fight against food insecurity by using the QR code. And let's get back to action together.